Hi, welcome to my channel, Ruby Neck Crochet Tejido. Today I'm going to teach you how to knit this block stitch. It's very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make it. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see that video in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel. Then you'll find the English version in there. Also, you can send me a message and I can send you the link. And at the end of each video, I leave a playlist with all my English tutorials. For this stitch, I'm going to use this leftover from Impeccable Yarn from Loops and Thread, medium 4, and it's 100% acrylic, and my needles are 6mm or US 10. This stitch is multiple of 6 plus 2, so I'm going to cut down 32. 30 are the multiple of 6 and the 2 extra. Do my slip knot, and that's the first stitch. Two, three, four, five, and like that, you're going to continue until you have the amount of stitches that you want for your uh, piece. You can do sweaters, you can do hats, baby blankets, um, scarves with this stitch. So, I will meet you here when I have my 32 stitches. Once you cast on your stitches, we're going to start with row 1 and it's 2 net, 4 purl. Two net, four purl. One, two, three, four purl. Net two, one, and two, and purl four. One, two, three, and four. Now you have to net two and continue net two, pro four, net two, pro four, and at the end you're gonna have two stitches that you're gonna net. I have two left and I'm gonna net those two. Turn or work around and we're gonna work and draw two. 
row 2, pearl 2, net 4. 1, 2 pearl, net 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Pearl 2, 1, and 2, and net 4. Two, three, and four. Now you're gonna pearl two, net four, pearl two, net four, until you finish with two pearl at the end. Row 3 is the repetition of row 2. 2 pearls and 4 net. 1, 2 pearls and 4 net. So now you're doing the net on top of these 4 pearls. 1, 2, 3, 4 net. And now you're doing 2 pearls on top of these 2 net. One and two. Four net. One, two, three, and four, and two pearl. We're going to continue with uh, four net and two pearl until the end. And this is row three. And from row 4 to 8, we're going to work our stitches as we see them. We're going to net the net and purl the pearls. So here in row 4, we're going to do 2 net and 4 purl. 1, 2, 3, and 4. To net and four pearls. One, two, three, and four. Now two net, four pearl, two net, um, four pearl, and you finish with two net.
Row five, you're gonna work the stitches as you see them so the two first one are two purl. One and two pearl for net. One, two, three, and four. Two pearl. One and two and four net. three and four now two pearls and like that you're going to continue uh, row five with two pearl for net two pearl for net and you finish with two For row six, again, you're gonna do your work as you see them. So it's two net and four pearls. Two net and four pearl. And then you're going to finish with two nets. And this is row six. Two nets. Row seven, we're gonna work the stitches as we see them. Again, now is two pearl and four net. And again, two pearl, four net, two pearl, four net, and finish with two pearl. working the stitches as we see them.
and row eight to net four pearl <laughs> and the last row i almost made a mistake twice when i was doing the four net because i was thinking to do a hat with this stitch and i was thinking to do it with a circular needle and i wasn't paying attention <laughs> so to net four pearl and like that you're going to continue until you finish with two net and then we're going to start with the repetition of row one so this one is row eight two net four pearl We finished row eight and we're gonna start with a repetition from row one again to row eight. So row one, two net, and four pearls. One, two net, four pearls. One, two, three, four pearl. Now two net. And then for pearl, two net, for pearl, and finish with two nets. The repetition of row two, two pearl, four net. One, two, three, four net, two pearl, four net, and finish with two pearl.
Now we're going to work in the repetition of row 2. In row 3, it's 2 purl and 4 knit. And this change the stitches to create the blocks. three and four and two purl and like that you're going to continue all the way until the end of this row that's the repetition of row three Now from row 4 to row 8, those uh, four repetition, you're going to do the stitches as you see them. You're going to net the net and purl the pearls. So in this repetition of row 4, you have to do two net, four pearl, two net, four pearl, two net at the end. So two net, four pearl, and so on. The repetition on row 5 is, as you see, the stitches, 2 purl, 4 net. 2 purl, 4 net, 2 purl, and so on. The repetition of six is two net, four purl, two net, four purl, and you finish with two net. The repetition of row 7 is 2 purl, 4 net, 2 purl, 4 net, and so on.
for row 8, or the repetition of row 8, because this is uh, row 16, uh, is 2 net for pearl. 2 net for pearl. And finish with 2 net. I finished the repetition of A and now I'm gonna do one more off camera and I will show you how to cast them off just in case you want to work in a straight piece. Uh, this will look fantastic in a hat because you glance and it look like a cable almost because this and here look like when you cross the cable. So look really nice. Uh, I'm gonna do that repetition one more time. I hope I have enough yarn and I will show you how to cast off or bind up. I did one more repetition of the stitch and it looked really, really nice. Like I mentioned before, it looked like cable. If you uh, look and it looked like a cable stitch almost. So now we're gonna do the repetition of row one and two and then we're gonna cast off the stitches. So you're gonna change to to net for pearl, to net for pearl, and then we do repetition of row two, and then when it's time to do the repetition of row three, we're gonna cast off our stitches or bind off. Now we're gonna do the repetition of row two. It's two pearl and four nets. You're gonna work until the end, and in the next row, we're gonna cast off if you're working a straight uh, piece. But if you're doing a hat, and then you start with a decrease. So now, in this row, we're gonna cast off our stitches. And I mentioned if you're doing a hat, because I'm planning to do um, a hat with this stitch, but that will be. In sec after uh, September, that I start my work for Christmas present. I will be doing some uh, hats with some of the stitches that I've been showing you uh, every Saturday. So this will be one of the stitch for a hat. It's really nice. And with a hat, it will be different. So starting in September, I start my work for Christmas present. So in here, you're going to purl the first one and purl the second one so we're going to cast off in a purl stitch or bind off so purl the next one and so on you're going to continue all the way until the end Here I have one left, but I don't want to cut the yarn because I will re uh, wind it again in my winder and I can use it for another stitch or another project. So this is what I'm going to do. What you do is cut and pull and you lose that tail. So it's a really, really nice stitch. I really like it. And this is the right side of the piece. 
and this is in the wrong side of the piece. So you can make a scarf with this stitch because don't look the same, but it still look really nice in the other side of the piece. I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and you make this a stitch or anything with it and you want to send me some pictures you can do it through my Facebook page Ruby Crochet Tejido or my Instagram Ruby Crochet Tejido. Please share my videos with friends and family and in groups that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.